please raise your hand and we'll uh, hand it over to Mike Trudeau. What's up, Cruz? What's up? Uh, I had a, I had a, a quick non-basketball one and then, a, and then a basketball one. Who who would be the best person at sort of games type things, whether that's ping pong, uh, video games, like that, the stuff that's around it. If you had to pick one of your teammates, who holds it down the best in that kind of thing? Uh, I'm not really sure because we've never like really had an opportunity to play ping pong and you know games of that nature. But uh, whew, I don't know. Probably one of the old, maybe Rondo. I'd probably say him because he's just you know older guy, been around the block, probably played a few games of pool in his life. Go with him. Bill. Hey Kyle, it's Bill Orem. Uh, Sorry, I thought Mike was going to jump in with another one. Um, um, you, you mentioned Rondo. I'm just curious uh, how you kind of how it kind of hit you to learn that he was going to you know miss up to a couple of months here, and um, and, and if, if you had a perspective on, on how on how the injury happened, um, what did you see? I'm not sure how the injury happened. Um, honestly, I didn't even know until after practice. So, uh, you know, that's that, and then it's very unfortunate. You know, I kind of feel bad for him because you know. You know, being in a bubble and you can't play basketball is tough. So, hard. Ali. BT? Kyle, I was wondering uh, with Rondo being out and him being on the second unit with you as well, can you see your role increasing as a ball handler, someone to initiate the offense while he's out? Uh, I mean, I can do that, but, you know, that's the decision for the coaches. So, you know, if they allow me to do that, I can do it. But, um, you know, we'll see how it goes. We haven't been able to see much of uh, Dion and, and, well, we haven't been able to see Dion and, and JR at all. How's the blend going with practice and specific to Dion? How do you think he might um, compensate for, for losing a guy like Raja? Um, I mean, there's just more of an opportunity. You know, obviously him being hurt, other guys to step up, other guys have opportunities to get more minutes. So, um, for a guy like him, hasn't really played all season, um, coming into a new team, uh, he's got a chance. So. Hey, Kyle, Melissa Roland here. So, a lot of guys talk about playoff Rondo. How would you describe or define what playoff Rondo is and what you guys were looking forward to in that sense? Uh, I mean, I've, I've, I've never been to the playoffs, and I've never seen Rondo play in the playoffs. You know, I've only seen from what you've seen on TV. Um, I, I can't necessarily give you an answer um, from a game like style or playing with them. I've just never been in that situation. But um, I guess, you know, it's a real thing. You know, I, I kind of remember back when you played for the Pelicans and, um, you know, had a couple good series uh, with them. Uh, but obviously, he's, he's a vet, experienced guy, someone that's won a ring. Um, so, you know, he knows what the playoffs is, and he kind of knows those ins and outs. Let's get ready for Hoop Jab.